the topic i'm going to discuss is the insurance documents so before starting the topic first of all we need to discuss the basic meaning that what are the insurance documents there are two words include under this the very first one is the insurance and the second one is the documents insurance is the kind of policy which is created by the two parties for the purpose of recovering from loss and documents are the legal process in which the paperwork is done by the both the parties to do the process in a legal way so insurance document means all the slips that cover notes contracts number of policies certificates of entries or any other insurance documents or evidence that constituted the insurance from time to time in effect so under the concept of insurance document the very first topic we are going to discuss is the proposal forms according to the words we can determine that insurance document includes various kinds of form in which the various kinds of information is available for both the parties according to the very first point that is an insurance contract is effected when there is an offer and acceptance while doing the insurance contract a proper and legal work and proper paperwork is done between both the parties that is between the individual and the second one is the company a contract is formed and that contract is basically effected when there is an offer of an acceptance whenever both the parties while making the contract or any kind of evidence when both the parties are mutually accepted both the consent and both the information and while performing their contract the information is provided by the both the parties must be crystal clear to each other so when an individual and the another company that is the company of insurance when they both accept the conditions in the legal way it is known as offer and acceptance according to second point that is offer is made through the completion of proposal form and duly signed by an proposer whenever both the parties are making any kind of insurance contract when both the parties signed a form in a proper way or signed a proposal in a proper way then the proposal is accepted if any one of the party is not accepted any kind of information or any kind of evidence and not sign the proper paperwork then the contract is not valid and the contract is not accepted so the basic meaning of proposal form is while making the contract proper and legal work is to be done by both the parties where both the parties share the information related to the basic contract in a written form and both the parties duly sign the proposal after signing the proposal the contract is meant to be valid next topic is the usefulness of proposal form first of all we discuss the meaning of proposal forms now we are going to discuss the meaning that what is the use of proposal form why the various kinds of forms are used by the insurance company for making any kind of contract the very first one is to assist the insurer in gathering the information required to assess the risk proposed the basic purpose of the proposal form is to gather the various kinds of information from both the parties whatever the information is written in the contract whatever the terms and conditions are included to form the insurance policy that all terms and conditions are put down in written form in a proper format and in a proper form so for gathering the particular type of information from an individual who is taking any kind of insurance policy the insurance company make a proper guidelines for the individual and make a valid form through which they can gather the particular information from the particular individual and that particular form requires to assess the particular risk that are involved in the policy 
according to the second concept it includes to enable the insurer to consider application speedily and accurately so the second purpose of the proposal form is to enable and maintain a proper application record which further process the activities speedily and accurately if the information is crystal clear to both the parties that what kind of risk is included in the insurance policy and after happening of the particular risk that how the particular amount is to be deducted by the insurance company for compensation is provided to the particular individual that kind of information is also provided in the proposal forms so which helps to enable the insurer for speedily and accurately information for both the parties the next is the structure of proposal form how the proposal form actually looks and what is the proper structure of insurance form the very first one is the requirement of insurance act 1996 questions of a journal nature so according to the insurance act 1996 according to the act there are various questions that are in the journal nature that are framed in the proposal form while making the contract between the individual and the insurance company first of all the very basic question that is included in the form is the proposer's name and address risk address when uh, whenever an individual wants to make an insurance contract and for framing that policy the individual have to fill up their name proper address and what kind of policy he wants to take the second one is the proposer's occupation that what are the daily kind of activity he is performing in their business and what is their actual entity what are their financial position what is the occupation of the individual these all kinds of information is also recorded in the proposal form according to the next point it includes the main heading that is the previous and present insurance if an individual wants to take any kind of insurance policy the insurance company also make sure that the individual have the previous kind of insurance or the individual have the recent kind of insurance proper detailed history and the present information of the individual must be detected by the insurance company so under the concept of previous and present insurance there are further sub points that is the loss experience sum insured and subject matter in the present history according to this point an individual who is suffering from the loss in past and what is the reason and how much the sum is to be insured and what is the subject matter of the loss accrues these all kind of information is also included under proposal forms the next one is the insurance related questions insurance related questions include the specific type of the insurance that what the kind of insurance wants to opt by an individual to cover from its loss whatever the activities are performed by an individual it may be for the house related insurance or it may be related to the organization or firm any kind of insurance proper and accurate and specific questions are asked under the concept of proposal from from the individual that what the type of insurance actually wants to opt by an individual next one is the declaration declaration requires the proposer of warrant the answers are true according to the declaration the basic meaning of a declaration is whatever the questions are asked by the insurance company in the proposal form and the answers are given by an individuals all answers are true and correct and all information is provided as the crystal clear information a declaration form is also signed by an individual who is opting any type of insurance that whatever the information is provided by him is true and crystal clear the basic information what is provided is must be complete and agreed the proposal forms and the basis of contract accept the usual form of policy that for the class of business so under the concept of declaration there are some more activities that are performed in the proposal forms that is the basic contract 
what is the information that is related to the basic contract and according to that information both the parties are agreed towards the proposal form and these proposal forms are accepted and usually a form of policy for the classes of business whatever the policies are made whatever the documentation process is performed after signing the particular documentation a proper policy is framed out by the both the parties next one is the signatures signatures means the proposer should always sign the proposal form as it represent the offer in the contract signature indicates that in an individual who wants to opt any type of insurance policy after filling up the proposal form he accept all kind of information all kind of terms and policies that are framed by the insurance company that terms and policies are accepted by the individual the sign is taken by the insurance company and then a proper policy and a contract is framed the next concept is the cover note after filling up the proposal form by an individual the next concept is the cover note cover note include the very first option that is the evidence of protection evidence of protection for the temporary period of time evidence of protection is provided by the insurance company that is for the particular time period that must be for the 6 months for the one year a particular time is to be set and then protection is provided by the insurance company to the individual who opt a particular type of insurance policy next one it provide the provisional cover which the insurer receiving the rights to withdraw the cover when the contract is framed between both the parties and individual and the second one is the insurance company insurance company under the concept of cover note provides the provisional coverage to the individual and that particular individual have the right that he can withdraw the particular amount of coverage from the insurance company according to the third point that is provide the useful coverage as the standard policy and the contract is subject to tariff warrants and special clause whatever the amount of coverage is provided under the concept of standard policy a particular warrants and special clauses are provided under the concept of coverage notes for completing up the contract the next concept include is the further particular contents there are various types of particulars various types of contents that are included in the insurance policy the very first point is the name and address of the insured an individual or a person who opt any type of insurance his particular name and his address must be recorded in the form of insurance that is prepared by the insurance company second one is the time and date of commencement of cover period of insurance after filling up the name and address of an particular individual according to the second particular proper time of commencement and proper date of commencement of cover period of insurance is to be mentioned and properly filled by an individual in the coverage form the next one is the description of risk covered and sum insured whatever the amount of risk covered whatever the amount that is paid by the insurance company must to be described in detail and in the proper format by the insurance company an individual must know that what amount of insurance and what risk is to be covered by taking the particular type of policy according to the next point that is the rate and premium any special terms whenever an individual opt an insurance policy he has to pay the particular amount of rate and particular amount of premium to the insurance company after a specific period of time say 
after a particular one month after particular two month a premium is to be paid by the individual to the insurance company so that particular rate and that amount of premium should also be specified in the terms of contents so that that particular information is also in the knowledge of an individual next one is the cover note serial number date of issue whenever the proper policy is issued and whenever the contract is to be formed proper cover note and its serial number with the mentioned date of issue is to be also included in the form contact next one is the signatures of the authorized signatory and terms of cancellation whenever the proper form of policy is to be created by the individual and by the company proper signatures are to be taken from the individual and then after completing up the proper information and after filling up the particular amount of particulars that are available in the cover consent and cover form proper signatures are duly signed by the individual who took the insurance policy and after signing up and after go through that whole process is done by the insurance company and that insurance company will also put signatures on the particular contract after that the statement to the effect that may include the concept of cancellation if the insurance company feels that that particular person is not able to pay the sum up of premium after the particular period of time and he may feel that or after identifying the various kind of information insurance company may feel that the particular information provided by the individual is not crystal clear and is not right then the insurance company will cancel the particular contract and particular insurance policy the next one is the certificate of insurance certificate of insurance is provided to the individual by the insurance company after the completion of all the content information after the completion of all coverage forms that is prepared by the insurance company and an individual so under the concept of certificate of insurance the very first point is normally issued when insurance is made compulsory in the case of motor insurance whenever an individual take the insurance policy that is related to the motor insurance then they basically issued the insurance certificate and under this case in the case of motor insurance certificate of insurance is made compulsory according to the second point it certifies that the insurance is issued by an authorized insurer whatever the certificate is provided by the insurance company must be authorized and duly signed and must be valid and the terms and conditions and all the kind of signatures and after completing up all kind of paperwork then the certificate is issued to the individual by an insurance company and that certification must be authorized according to the next point as an evidence of insurance to police and motor vehicle registration authority that particular insurance certificate is also act as an evidence of insurance in certain cases of police cases and under motor vehicle registration authority whenever any kind of registration under the concept of motor vehicle is to be performed then that particular insurance certificate is act as an evidence of insurance in the case of motor vehicle registration authority so the next topic is the policy forms policy forms is a document that is drafted by an insurer policy forms are a kind of documents which are prepared and drafted by an particular insurer it is not a contract but as an written evidence policy forms are act as in written evidence it doesn't have any kind of relation as it act as an contract it is need to be stamped legally stamped by the insurance company and issued as a scheduled type 
वट एवर द टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन दैट आर इंक्लूडेड अंडर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इंश्योरेंस एक्ट इंश्योरेंस फॉर्म्स में इंक्लूडेड दैट एक्ट एज एन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इट इज नॉट एक्ट एज एन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट इट इज यूज फॉर एज एन रिटर्न एक्ट रिटर्न एविडेंस and it needs to be stamped legally and it is issued as an scheduled type so next is the what kind of contents are included in policy forms there are various kinds of there are very kind of contents that are included the very first one is the heading under the concept of heading if the particular there are full name and address of the insurer proper name and address of an individual must to be written in the form of particulars the next one is the preamble and practical clause which includes introduces the parties of the contract that how many parties are included in the formation of contract how many individual jointly frame the policy or a single person is performing or gaining the insurance policy preamble and practical clause basically put the introduction that how many parties are involved in the basic formation of contract next one is the operative and insurance clause there are specific pulls that is insured and the circumstances and insurer will become responsible operative and insurance clause according to the words in determine there are various activities that are performed that is related with specifies that the particular situation is to be insured and what kind of circumstances are involved under the contract the insurer will become responsible for any kind of loss and after determining the particular kind of loss by the insurance company the particular amount of loss is given to the individual to recover from that loss next one is the exclusions it may include the certain types of risk on the scope of insurance that what is the scope of insurance in the upcoming future that put some kind of restrictions on the scope of insurance the next concept is the schedule so under the concept and under the content of schedule the certain information is provided that is information applicable to a contract that what kind of information is provided in the form that information must be applicable for the particular contract which include the name and address and what kind of premium what amount of premium is to be paid policy number and what date proper issuing is done and what amount of loss is to be recovered and the proper period of insurance so under the contents what schedule involved schedule in form the various kinds of information name and address of the person what amount of premium he is paying what policy number is included date of issuance and the amount of risk covered and proper period of insurance the next one is the signature clause signature of an authorized official of the insurance after completing up and after filling up the certain types of content a proper signature is to be taken by the authorized officials and the next one is the conditions the term condition includes that may include some regulatories in the form of contract which express certain principles certain conditions and that particular conditions and principles must to be applied for the formation of contract thank you